Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tara Quatuor. Welcome to Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024. Day 184. Nah. -uh. It is a slow day today. There's not a whole lot going on. Uh, Lily had some guests over earlier, so we just uh, kept ourselves more or less prepared for that. More or less. Not a whole lot to talk about today, because, well, there's not a whole heap going on right now. Let's see, you got to forge for fruit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> allergies are acting up a little bit, though. Ugh. It, it's been this uh, whirlwind of hot. It's dried everything up so all of the uh, pollens that were nice and fresh are now dried up and blowing in the wind. Did I just do deedly D? Yes, I did deedly D. Uh, uh, I'm kind of wishing today was Wednesday. So I could just up and order that, um, that AIO. But all the bills need to get paid tomorrow. And I just need to keep myself prepared for the chaos, I guess. Because I, I expect this month to be a little bit difficult, but not too bad. Excuse me. Hang on. Ugh. Eyes a bit itchy. Let's see. I don't want PP recovery. PP consumption. Fine. I'll just have HP recovery. Whatever. <laughs> but one of the things I plan on doing today in here, with whatever time's left, because maintenance is coming up in just a few hours. But at the time of recording, it's 4.44 p.m. So they're going to undergo maintenance here probably in about, I'm going to say like four or five hours. About I'd say in about four hours is when they're going to start maintenance in this game, which means I don't have to find things to do. There's plenty to do. There is quite a bit I could be doing. But one thing, I, one thing I've noticed, though, is that when it comes to looking for things to do, the more things you have to do, the less it feels like you have to do. Which means the best thing to do to stave off boredom is don't have too many things to do. Like, too, don't have too many options. Too many options equals you're going to be bored. My daughter is learning that lesson right now. Buttercup still hasn't quite learned it. It takes a long time to learn that one, I, I guess. Some money real quick. Some end Masetta. Oh, hello, hello. Well, it's like this daily is done before I even got here. Oh, I didn't fix that yet? Hang on. Weapons. This one I wanted to be. Runs. And this one I wanted to be. That one. There we go. But yeah. Uh, too many things to do equals you're gonna be bored. I said this. But. Um, yeah. And in terms of games, I have so many games. All games that the rest of the family won't play, except for Minecraft, which I do not play. I just don't really care for Minecraft, I guess. Well, really, there's no I guess about it. That's just, I can't really, I couldn't really get into it. Buttercup's really into it, which is fine. But, like I said, for me, it's not my thing. I mean, I even have the Stanley Parable. I have a long list of things on Steam. All which are, in, almost all of them are installed on my computer because I've got plenty of storage. But, I just don't play that many of them. Uh, once again, I'm finding myself in the position where I feel like I should be doing less PSO2. It's, um, been been a thing where it just um, takes up a lot of my attention span that I don't want to be using up 
but it's not like I can really be doing yard work right now. It is way, it is way too hot out for me to be doing that. Let's see, looks like that might be a chaos trial. Oh, hey. Got those up. But yeah, it's it's just too hot for me to be doing yard work right now. Um, luckily, I haven't heard any cases of heat strokes in the area yet. There are other complaints about this area right now that have ticked up randomly, and I have to start. We have to start looking for explanations for why these problems are rapidly increasing. I think it's an empathy issue. Where people really just don't care. I just, I just don't know. Don't want to get into it. But um, like I said, I'm still a bit lucky. We haven't heard any issues of heat strokes. No, we we haven't gotten any of those. Which it's good. I mean, it's good. But it is it is hot. But luckily, since once it started hitting those triple digits consistently and just staying there. It find the the uh, the humidity dropped enough to where it's more manageable, and that's what some people who complain is like, oh, they say it's hot, but it's only this temperature, bro. You're you're forgetting about humidity. You're really forgetting about humidity and access to air conditioning. But it could be other. I mean, yeah, there is, there is a degree of scaremongering, but there are people. I know plenty of people who just cannot handle heat at all. Lily is one of them. If it's hot in any way, she's always at risk of passing out. So she's almost always lethargic in the summertime because it's just too hot for her. And it's, I, I'd say it's, oops, it's just genetic. Yeah, I was using the number five. Why didn't it work? Huh. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, it... Uh, she She's had that issue with heat since she was very young. So I can't... I'll never hold that against her. It's... Unfortunately, just... Not everyone gets so lucky when it comes to heat management. And she's one of those unlucky ones, I guess. I'm going to go up here. Everyone's going to the same places again. Like that. Some back here looks like they're going over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the invisible gondola or whatever. Oh, they're down. Nope, they're right there. So, I'm going to let them finish that area up. Getting close to being done. Got a chaos down there? No. But it is an elite. Just what I wanted to see. Perfect. Almost messed that one up. But I, 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 I should apologize somewhat for uh, not having anything to talk about. It's it's Tuesday. You know me. I don't like Tuesdays. Normally, I'd be doing something with Tessa, but you already know what the circumstance of just trying to minimize heat. And the longer we're in VR chat, the more heat it uses. Because to do those videos, we're in VR chat probably... I'll be in a VR chat session probably about... To do a good one like I did uh, last week, which was cringe as heck. I agree. I understand it was very cringe, but it was uh, the largest uh, VR chat film uh, learning experience for me, I should say. So, there, so I, there, there are bits of it that I'm proud of that I was even remotely able to pull off. But when we do a recording session for a dual video, uh, we're in VR chat for probably three hours almost four hours sometimes yesterday we, or not yesterday last week we were in for about four hours and then I was editing for another 
six or seven hours. So it, it was a very long session last week. So and that it puts a lot of strain on the computer because of heat. And knowing that the AIO has been what's crying essentially and just not enough airflow in there. Um, it's too much strain for the computer. I mean, I mean, I still have I still have the side panel taken off of there right now, but I can't really knowing now knowing what the issue is and why it's been doing that. Even just like having just gotten into VR chat, it, it's too high risk. Well, that was fast. But, yeah. There we go. But I, I would, I would like to do VR chat. But really, uh, during this time until I get the new AIO and um, just like a mesh sheet, magnetic mesh sheet, whatever thing, to replace these glass side panel, because um, glass is one heck of an insulator. People need to remember that when they do high-end GPUs with a glass side panel uh, tower or, you know, PC case. I've, I, I used to always advise just don't do the glass panel. And here I am, but that's because the majority market is glass panel for aesthetics. But it's just aesthetic, but you're actually shortening the lifespan of your computer if it's not you know like all liquid cooled but even then there's still a limit that glass panel is an insulator so all the heat that because if you look if you look at gpus it blows out the side of the gpu as well you know down and to the sides not just out the back of the pc which means it's hitting the glass panel the glass panel's not good at dissipating the heat it'll insulate it which means it's all staying right there, which shortened the lifespan of the AIO because it began to overheat. It gets hot. The GPU gets very hot. <laughs> and with the glass panel there, it's just going to blow it right back onto there. And it's just going to create a sauna, essentially, inside the GPU. So if you have a glass panel in your, and you start experiencing heat issues, change to a perforated metal or mesh. Take the glass panel off your PC. It's there for aesthetics only. It's not there to help your computer. It does not. It does nothing to help the performance of your computer. In fact, I'd say it's a hindrance. And unfortunately, I was reminded. Luckily, not the most catastrophic way. Not not catastrophically, which is good. But I would appreciate remembering these things when I buy a computer. The problem, most computers you buy that are gaming computers, even some workstations nowadays, all use glass panels. Glass panel computers need so much airflow. There is one uh, glass panel uh, PC tower that I wouldn't mind having, but the glass panels are actually raised above the actual unit itself. It's a pyramid. They have pyramid computer cases. And I'll look at it again to make sure that it has the proper airflow I'd need away from the GPU. And if it does, I'd love to have something like that. But for now, no, it needs to, like th this case does not get enough airflow. So eventually I will need a new one. But once I you know get a new one, I'm gonna need a new CPU because I still run on an i7-9700. So I'll need a new CPU that's at least probably like a an 11th Gen i9 at least. And doing that with another motherboard means I'm pushing like $1,100. Ain't great. That's money I'd never have unless, uh, well, I'm, I'm just not going to have that money for a long time. I have to get really good at this stuff. And right now, I'm pretty mediocre. And I'm okay with that because I'm not here to be, I'm not here to be making a living right now. I'm here to prove to myself that I can see this project through, which is again, going sober for 365 days straight while recording a video every single day for 365 days straight. That is what I'm here for. 
Once I can see that project through, I can worry about other things. I wouldn't mind killing two birds with one stone, but I don't want to screw up my rhythm. I don't want to screw up my workflow. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I've had enough ranting. Got a little easier as time went on, but that's normal. This is Terraquator on your Tuesday. I'm sorry, everyone. You're not getting Tessa calling it what she calls it because I'm not saying it. But this is a Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024, day 184. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday because it's a slow one. Enjoy your Tuesday and we will see you tomorrow on Wednesday.